Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You only live once. You join me here today in Novak. Last time we finished off the Brotherhood quest and got ourselves power armor training, meaning we now have a pretty damn fearsome damage threshold, I think, and uh, as well as some very nice guns available to us. So I think we're doing very nicely there. And this time, this time I want to finish off. Boom. So obviously we did Veronica's quest while we were doing the Brotherhood. I want to do Boone's quest now. This is a very good time, I think, for me to do it because uh, pretty soon, pretty soon, we're going to be doing the Reputation Reset. So if I'm going to annoy the Legion horrendously, now would be an excellent time to do it. So today I'm basically going to try and do the Boone quests. Anyway, let's uh, go and catch up with Boone. Ah, here he is. Boone, Boone, Boone. Hello. Is it time? Okay, lovely. Boone is giving me the spotter poke. I'd forgotten whether I'd actually done uh, one for my baby. I already had. Excellent. So here's how Boone works for people who don't know. Basically, the way Boone works is you need to earn what's typically called history points with him, which is you need to do things that remind him of his past or the NCR or the terrible things he did while he was in the NCR that he kind of regrets now. So we need to basically do that. So there's a few of those that I've deliberately left uh, undone up to this point, so let's go and do those now. So the first of these brings me back to Wolfhorn Ranch and the uh, the road to Novak that we took originally. Um, this is the quest Booted. This is kind of an interesting one. Basically, um, this is the guy Bulk's cars and Nipton gives you this quest. Tells you, well, he doesn't really tell you. He tells you that um, two powder gangers have been kidnapped by the Legion and you basically offer to go and rescue them and he specifically says, I don't care. Do whatever you want, I don't mind. Um, so he doesn't want to, you know, give you a reward for it or anything, but he lets you know it's happened. Um, rescuing the two individuals gets you two history points with Boon. So I'm going to go and do that at this moment, which is a very useful thing to do. It's kind of strange because... Yeah, it's, it's just a bit odd. I, I guess maybe, of course, Boon's history, yeah, spoiler alert if you don't want to know, but in all fact, I don't know if, I don't even know if I'll even put it in, this, uh, in these videos anyway. Um, Boon's wife was uh, obviously sold into Legion slavery. He was able to track her down to Cottonwood Cove and he shot her dead because basically he was so outnumbered he couldn't rescue her. So he decided that he would rather um, shoot her dead than let her kind of live in uh, in slavery because obviously it's uh, a rather unpleasant, misogynistic and also sexual slavery filled society. Uh, you're just a crow, aren't you? Yes, you're just a crow. So he decided to shoot her dead. So kind of rescuing people from Legion captivity, I guess, makes him really like you, which kind of makes sense, I guess. So uh, on that basis, yeah, it does kind of stack up. But uh, yeah, so uh, rescuing hostages generally is a good thing. Anyway, let's just let him to wait here because Boom will always open fire on the Legion. So we just need to not let that happen. And then we just need to creep up on the Legion camp. And I'm planning to burn a stealth boy for this. Uh, just because it makes life so much easier than the alternative. Let's just run up here. Still got six stealth boys. That's fine. Let's just get rid of those. And move on our way in. Honestly, I don't want to cause trouble. Like as, as I showed at the beginning of the episode, I'm already... I lost a lot of hit points last part. I'm down to... 300 out of th out of 385, which is not good. So I want to take the low risk strategy at this point. I want to remain hidden and just quickly, yep, untie you. Yeah, this is the strange thing about this. Obviously, as long as you don't get seen, the Legion don't really care about their hostages or anything. It's really weird. And as soon as I get close enough, but no, no, untie him and then just back off. Powder Gang is back to mix. Okay, that's done me some good with the Powder Gangs at least. Those guys run off, Legion don't care. Uh, which is kind of a weird bug. When you think about it, the Legion probably ought to shoot those guys, but never mind. Anyway, then we just walk away, and obviously no reputation loss, because no one saw you do it. So that's nice and easy. So that's a good two easy history points with Boone. That was really weird. Did you just see that on screen for a second? It said that I've been drinking water items. That's really odd. Not least as I can actually show you. Uh, actually, I, I recently found this. This is quite useful. I can actually demonstrate to you. I definitely can't be ever cheating because it actually tells you how much health from stim packs, health from food, and water consumed. Zero. So I, my stats say water consumed zero, but the achievement, I, I was apparently 50% of the way to flipping drinking enough water was apparently. Never mind. Um, I was told, um, and no disintegrations is bugged, that it just pops up occasionally when it shouldn't do, and that's already happened to me once this run, so maybe uh, and not a drop to drink is also a bit bugged. Never mind. Anyway, now let's, with that done, because Boone was technically in my party while we did that, we get the history points for that. 
And if you want to, you can now kind of yeah, you can just you can just talk to him now, and he'll give you a little bit of speech related to the uh, related to the people we've just rescued. And next, we're going to be heading to Camp McCarran. And obviously, what we're going to be doing here is finishing off. I put a spell on you, um, which I've decided. Obviously, I, I've kind of looked at my various options. That I have reasons for wanting to do that uh, the NCR rather than the Legion way. I mean, arguably, I could have gone either route. There are reasons I want to do this with Boone for the history points. So let's do it that way. So this is a pretty kind of quick, easy quest. So I'll probably kind of skip large parts of this just to kind of, but you know roughly what happens. Basically all I need to do is I need to, having talked to Curtis and he's told me to speak to a few people, I can speak to Boyd. Hello Boyd, I can ask her about the break-ins. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So she tells you about uh, people who have been accessing the control tower in the airport late at night. So all we need to do is investigate that. Nice and easy. Just kind of you can hop over here. These things are doors. That's the control tower in question over there. All you need to do is basically go in there at night where Boyd told you there was something weird going on. You can also get that information from uh, Sterling, by the way, if you haven't already sent him on to uh, Camp Forlorn Hope. You can ask him about uh, whether he's noticed anything and he says that uh, he saw lights up there at night too so you can ask him about it interestingly even if he has gone to camp forlorn hope he is standing in camp forlorn hope he is physically on the map then you can go and speak to him and he'll still tell you that he sees these lights at night even though obviously he's not here anymore which is uh kind of a little bit odd but uh, but never mind anyway all you need to do is just kind of get yourself hidden out of the way boon with me of course boon you just stay out of the way here we'll just hide here yeah half midnight that'll do that'll do so now we just creep on over to the tower. I'm also, just before I go inside, I'm going to put on some light armor to improve my running speed. That's going to be important in a second. Chinese stealth armor and my sheriff's hat back into the classic gear. Afternoon. And listen in on the call. Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. So you hear there's a bomb inside the train that's going to detonate. So... First priority to my mind is, I'm told you can actually do this in either order. I feel like the safest thing to do is to run straight to the train and sort that out, just in case. Though I'm told you can do it in either order. I mean, I genuinely thought for years that there was actually, it was actually hard-coded, that if you went, if you confronted Curtis and took him out first, that meant that you couldn't save the monorail. But I've been told that's not the case. I don't know whether that was patched at some point or if I was just misinformed. Anyway, just hop inside the monorail. It's in the vent over here and explosive science diffuse the charge so science of 45 or explosive 35 done so we've successfully extracted and diffused the bomb now so that is because we saved the monorail that is one point already however you can get an extra point now by going and dealing with curtis there we go if i just back up a little bit then i do actually have a line at him this is going to armor piercing Okay, and then we just want a good clean headshot. That's not a good idea. So now we're up to a total of four history points with Boone. Now we just nip back to Colonel Shu and turn that in for a bit of free experience as well. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. You see, I really like that little plot point, though it doesn't really come up again, which is the idea that the Legion, rather than just being like a bunch of barbaric slavers, has a lot of internal sophistication to its intelligence network, that it had planted people into the NCR years and years ago, that it actually has a lot of intelligence behind it, which isn't a side you get to see of the Legion very often. You very often just get the, they roll into town and then stab people and then put them on crucifixes. You don't very often get the idea there's a very, very sophisticated intelligence operation there. But you actually feel sometimes from that quest, the Legion has better intelligence and better spy capacities than the NCR does by a long way, which is, I don't know, it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch and it makes them a little bit more complex. Anyway, let's uh, say goodbye to him so we can level up. Bye. There we go, up to level 17. Now, I can't quite get my guns up to 100, which is what I want, but never mind. Uh, let's see, do I want anything a little bit higher than what it is right now? I'll get guns up to 90 at least, I think. I'll keep sneak moving up too. I feel like sneak's an important one that I want to kind of max out pretty soon. So yes, that's done. And no perk at level 17, of course. So, okay. So that is me and Boone. Let's see if, what, what do you have to say about that, Boone? A face-to-face -face meeting with House, huh? NCR would kill to be in your shoes. 
Boom, that was that was ages ago, and also you weren't there then. You have no way of no never mind. I was wondering if he was gonna say something about the monorail, but he didn't. Okay, anyway, me and Boone have one more thing to do. And that interesting enough is actually we need to come back to Novak, or not specifically Novak itself, but uh, rather we need to uh, head on through to Novak and actually complete back in your own backyard for the final little point. Because lots of the ways you get Boone's history points involve a lot of violence, so it's like, you know, killing key members of the Legion, such as Caesar or his key lieutenants. But there's, and also, there's also things like um, irradiating uh, Cottonwood Cove, which isn't good because I need to use Cottonwood Cove. I need to be passing in and out there occasionally. So the last thing I want is to irradiate that area. That would be a disaster for me. So I've got to be a little careful in that regard. So I, I've picked the quest where I think you can, you can kind of get boon history points while doing, while putting yourself at the minimum amount of risk. So here we are just outside Nelson. Oh, sorry, I think I just talked over Boone there. Basically, he just said, no, damn it, we're going to get those hostages out. And we are, that is what we can totally do. But uh, Boone, you can't, because you will just start shooting everyone like crazy. So I need to go down and do that by myself. I should still be fine with the Legion. They shouldn't have a problem with me. So I just need to wander down into the town, and we should not have an issue with each other. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. R red? Red? Why red? What the heck is going on? Right. For some reason, the Legion are not happy with me. You see, my intention was to save the hostages, but now I'm kind of worried. Now I don't know. I don't know whether to burn a stealth boy here. This is worrying me too much. I'm just going to stealth boy in, get them free, and then immediately run, and hope at least one of them makes it out free. It's not perfect, but I don't know. It should do the job. <laughs> Getting caught in a branch. Should do the job. Should do the job. I don't know why the Legion are hostile to me. I haven't... The Curtis thing? I don't think so. Right, come on. Yeah. You are untied. You are untied. You are untied. Then I'm standing nowhere near you anymore because I don't want to flipping get shot. And now I just want to get out of here. Yes. I hope you guys are going to run for your freedom. I really hope you are. Because I'm, I'm not helping. Because I, I, I'm just not, I'm not getting involved anymore. I've got you down off the crosses. You can help yourselves now. I'm teaching you a valuable lesson in personal responsibility. And if I remember correctly, sometimes if you haven't cleared out the Legion fully, these guys are really bloody useless at uh, getting themselves to safety. But never mind. Let's see if we can uh, turn it in anyway. Howdy. What's the word? I was able to get a few of your hostages out alive, actually. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. Guess that makes me the sap and you the hero. So, that's some NCR fame gained. Um, where are those guys? Are they actually going to be able to... Oh, are they all going to get out alive? The Legion didn't stop them or anything. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, sensible decision by the sounds of it. Yep, you guys all got free. Having done all of that, we should be okay to have a chat with Boo. So, uh, yep, just get him to follow and then have a chat to him. Okay, I'm just going to fast travel somewhere and see if I can trigger Boone to give me his speech. Because he should do at this point. We should be we should be well in place to do that. Ah, okay. I've just... Okay, I had to go check something. I was not sure quite why Boone was not beginning his thing. There's a little criteria I'd completely forgotten about that I just needed to check up. Which is, apparently, if you haven't gone through a bit of dialogue with either Bitterroot or Manny about uh, Bitter Springs, then uh, Boone will never activate his quest anyway. So let's just go and chat to Manny quickly. There is, here's Manny. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. A lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. He's now told me all about Bitter Springs. Good, good, good. Okay, we've spoken to him about that. Now let's see if Boone's willing to have a chat. So we should be able to access new dialogue options now. What is it? Yes, there you are. You're at Bitter Springs with First Recon. And yeah, once you can talk to Boone about Bitter Springs, only after having spoken to Manny or Bitterroot, then you can ask him if he's got some regrets. Okay, and having done all of that... There we go, finally. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, it's very rare. I actually, um, I forget about a line of trigger dialogue and actually have to look it up in the Fallout wiki, which I just had to go and do, which is very embarrassing. Uh, that I'd forgotten that though you can get the history points with Boone, unless you've spoken to either Bitteru or Manny Vargas about Bitter Springs, then you don't know about Bitter Springs. So until you can talk to Boone about Bitter Springs, 
you won't be able to get the dialogue option that says he wants to go back there. So, okay, we will make it a point to head there. I hope this isn't a... There we are, and that should begin the quest. I forgot to remember to forget. The most kind of slightly confusingly named uh, quest in all of New Vegas. And conveniently, because of the way that I've completed this quest, um, obviously, I am not currently vilified by the Legion or anything. Sneaking in while in a stealth boy to get the hostages out, sneaking in with a stealth boy to get the um, to get those uh, powder gangers free, and mysteriously, actually, actually, uh, because I stealth killed Curtis, uh, none of those things count against me in the Legion's eyes. They don't know I did those things. So therefore, we are in good shape. And that means now we have to head on our way up towards Bitter Springs now. The thing I'm going to do is Boone. Me and you are actually going to separate here. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him, and I'm going to send. I'm what just going to dismiss him temporarily uh, because I need to head up to Bitter Springs alone. Okay. I think. So I've started by fast traveling to Raul's shack because that's in the right area. And basically, all I need to do is there's a road. Here it is. I just need to walk along this road and then up a little kind of side road up towards Bitter Springs. Which is a terrible idea, because this road, this is the road of hell. This road is where there's all sorts of madness and chaos. There's there's death claws, there's, there's cazadors, there's everything. There is no shortage of terrible things along this road. So I'm going to go into it in stealth armour to start off with, and then switch up to other things if I feel like I have to. But there are... There are bad things around here. There can be uh, death claws in a train yard over to the right, which is why I want to stay on to the left side of the road. But there's also night stalkers and cazadors over on this side. So, yeah, not fun. All I need to do is I just need to sneak up here and avoid trouble. Here's the train tunnel I went through, obviously. And I saw red here last time I was here. That caused a problem. I get the feeling like this could cause some level of difficulty for me. This whole area is very, very dangerous. Obviously, there's the train. Later. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hello. Is that the blind death claw? No, it's a young death claw, right? It's just. Yeah. Death claws. Death claws in this area. Not. Not good. There we go. Absolutely everything set up. Okay, one rifle and explosive rounds in it, I think. And one death claw that needs to die right now. Hello, you need to be shot in the head, I think. Yeah, just a nice... Ah, I'll shoot you in the back, fine. There we go. Explosive rounds in the anti-material rifle. That will do the job very nicely. Does that draw any attention of any other death claws? Oh, oh. God, they're all over the place. Right. There's one over there. That one's my main concern. Uh, let's let him lie himself up. There he goes. Sneak attack on a young death claw. There was one over there. Where was the one that was over there? I see him. Yeah, he's going down too. Oh, okay. He's crippled, but he wasn't killed. Interesting. Oh, I'm now worried. Okay, good. Normal sniper round took care of him. Good, good, good. Right. Okay. Three death claws down. Yeah, this is this is just the beginning of what the hell's on this road. This road gets gets worse before it gets better. So three death claws dead there. Three death claws dead. Yeah, I was lucky not to run into those guys earlier, quite frankly. Now. Should be okay for the minute now think we're all right. Yeah, you can see the train yard down there. I think if I zoom in, you'll probably be able to see... Can't see any of them. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. You see, there's more death claws down that way. So for this part of it, at least, I want to hug uh, the wall on this side for the moment. My first target is the Brotherhood safe house. There's going to be a Brotherhood safe house coming up on the left side at some point. First, just need to make sure it is safe around this corner. Yeah, safe houses tend to be fairly safe, so I'm not too worried by that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, fine, 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 fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And yeah, you got this rather cool little bunker here for those of you who have never seen the uh, the Brotherhood bunker. Now, um, 
for those of you who don't want to kind of spend large amounts of money on it, uh, this is an excellent place to... Oh, I accidentally picked up a missile launch. They didn't actually mean to. Uh, this is the place to get the non-Brotherhood aligned um, armor, which is kind of weird when you think about it, that inside the Brotherhood safe house, there's some of the only armor in the game that isn't Brotherhood aligned, but uh, never mind. Uh, it's not in great shape, as you can see there. You can kind of see it's really... It's actually... Its value is so low, it's really crappy. But I'm going to use it to slightly improve my armor anyway. Yeah, that's how bad it is, but never mind. Uh, I can slightly improve my arm by further 10% using that. I'll leave the terrible missile launcher behind, though. That's just kind of crappy condition. Uh, yeah, pretty much all the um, all the stuff in here is actually really poor condition, which is kind of a shame. But uh, one of the nice things is there, there are some... I think there's at least one. There might be two weapon repair kits around. Plus, you get some uh, lots of kind of ammo lying around. And a Tesla cannon. Which is actually not that good, but sounds really awesome. So, you know, that kind of makes up for it, I think. Tesla cannon there. Uh, obviously, needs a huge amount of energy weapons to use properly. And is, in like everything in here, very low condition. I might just slightly do that up, actually. Yeah, I might just do it a little bit up. So, you know what? It's fun. It does... 34 damage is kind of fun. It does a lot of low damage every time. It's nowhere near as good as the Tesla cannon in Fallout 3, to my mind. But, uh, you know what? It, it's quite fun anyway, so... You, you might enjoy it. I'd mainly just come in here just to get the ammo, to be honest. Okay, so we're out of the Brotherhood safe house, and now we just have to find our way up to Bitter Springs. Um, yes, that will be intriguing. That will be an intriguing possibility. Um, I think yeah, the immediate area is okay. The immediate area is okay. The problem is large numbers of cast doors on the road. That's your problem. And they're both sides of the road. That's the thing. I'm tempted, if it doesn't look healthy, to simply say, screw it, I will stealth boy past them. I'm getting really low on stealth boys. I've been using those guys a lot recently. I think I'm down to like two or three. I think three. Um, which is not good. But if I get swarmed... If I get swarmed by murder bugs, that could be it. That could be the end of the run. Because those guys will knacker you. Even with all this damage threshold I've got now, they will knacker you. Ooh. Is that one down there? There's normally more than one in that area. Because that's what stops you just swimming across the lake um, to Bitter Springs. It's the fact that those guys are also along the shore. Which causes problems. I feel like there should be yes. Okay, I see you. I see you. I did see you. All right, that was not a, fl a flipping trick. There's, there's two. There's potentially more than two. There's either two or three in that area. There's a part of me that says just use the road. Use the road. And hope. I think. Okay. If I stick to this road, those guys might be too far away to see me. The guys that I know will be in that area might be too far away to see me. Just don't know how many there are, because I'm pretty sure they don't come down onto the road. You see, I could use this... If I stick to about here, this provides me with coverage for line of sight. Then all I need to do is not get spotted from this side. Okay. That's all I need. I just need to walk nice and calm. Yep. Straight past you. That's all I want. I just want no trouble. Game's doing its hissing terrifying music because obviously it knows I'm scared can sense it because that's a nest that that thing up there's a flipping that's what a casador nest looks like and i think the terrible idea might just have worked the wonderful idea of hey there's two groups of terrifying murder bugs let's just walk down an open road between them might actually have flipping worked Problem is, I think there's more up ahead. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. 
Because I don't, I don't intend to fight these things. I intend to avoid these things. That is, that's my plan. My entire plan is just do not, do not get into trouble. That's it. Now, I have definitely seen bugs in the campsite before. In this here campsite. Don't see movement there now. Rather than going through the campsite, because I know, I don't know if they always are, but I know I've seen bugs in the campsite before. Let's see if I can go in the back way. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling good at the moment. I feel like I'm not seeing much of danger. In fact, I think I might be... This might be the um, the location that Boone ultimately wants to take me to that I'm just about to discover. I hope so. Yes, yes it is. Okay, good. Yes, Coyote Tail Ridge. That's where Boom wants me, and that means the game probably won't spawn anything nearby here because they don't want any wildlife to interfere, which means this, this should be the back entrance into Bitter Springs. Yes, yes. The graveyard, through the graveyard, into Bitter Springs. Okay. <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, this game, this game. Right, terrifying. Uh, do I even have a... Shovel. No, I don't have a shovel. I never pick. Did I never pick one up? Apparently not. Never mind. Uh, okay. Oh, blimey. Right. Okay, we've made it here at least. Discovered Bitter Springs. Okay. Now, before we bring Boone here and before we do anything, we need to help sort out some of the problems of Bitter Springs. Uh, we don't necessarily bother doing all of those straight away. We we can do uh, we can do some of them. So uh, some of them will be very easy to. Do. Let's just find the commander, nice and quickly. You're not the commander. She doesn't wear a goggles. This is her tent here. I'll just put away my gun. Hello, Sergeant Giles. Hello. I've been sending requests for relief for months now. Didn't think they'd send you though. Oh, I'm glad that she's heard of me. That's nice. So she'll just let's just skip through her dialogues, and she will basically say that you need all sorts of things. They need supplies. You they want uh, help with killing refugees. Something, something, something. Yep. Goodbye. Okay, good. That's a few bits and pieces. Now, there's only a couple. Well, there's one that we can do immediately, so we may as well kind of do this right now. So, uh, Lieutenant Markland in the infirmary. Wow. And, uh, da, 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 da. yes, Captain Giles said I could talk to you for medical aid. He wants some hey, books that I picked up earlier whatever. and some doctor's bags. I can give him Doctor. both immediately. And I found those books. And I can give him three doctor's bags. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. There we go. And don't sweat it. I'm just glad to help. Actually, if you've got a surplus, um, some spare meds. Uh, no, don't sweat it. I was just glad to help. Well, there we go. Okay, lovely. So that's that sorted. That's incredibly easy to do. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is basically well, there's a, there's a few things. Like they want medical, they want um you to, you to rescue supplies from some caves nearby, but I don't think that that's actually relatively high risk um, for not much reward. And meanwhile, they also say that they want you to grab, um, they want you to kind of go into the mountains and uh, basically deal with a Khan who's been uh, sniping at refugees, but that involves you going through fire gecko territory. I don't really want to do that. The one that they do ask you to do that I do want to do is they say go to various NCR camps and uh, basically talk them into sending reinforcements so there'll be more troops here. That one I can do because I'm pretty sure I have a high enough NCR rep to just make it happen. Hello. So uh, yeah, we can do it that way. So let's do that now, shall we? So, first things first, Camp Forlorn Hope. Obviously, I haven't done a single thing to help Camp Forlorn Hope yet, but uh, regardless, we can chat to the Major here. I'm glad to see you here. We could definitely use your help. Uh, actually, I was thinking more about how you could help me. So, yes, uh, Captain Giles needs reinforcements. I'll be honest. The Legion has me worried here, but I think I can spare some soldiers. Consider your request granted. There you go. So, he is happy to help out straight away. Done. Next, Camp McCarran. Obviously, we've helped out a lot around here, so I'm pretty sure these guys 
will help. The way that they choose to help is if you've got good NCR fame, I'm pretty sure they will just always help you. Otherwise, you just need to have done something positive locally. So even if the NCR really doesn't like you very much, if you'd completed um, Restoring Hope, then the NCR would have, uh, would have helped uh, send troops to help. There we are, James Shu. I'm pretty sure he will help us. We've done a lot to help you, my man. Yes, yes I think we can spare a few men. Yep, there we go. Lovely. And finally, the only one that I hadn't actually been to yet, uh, Camp Golf. So uh, this is obviously uh, technically this is the uh, this is the actually the headquarters of actually is it no I can't remember I think it used to be the headquarters but now the headquarters has moved to McCarran hasn't it yeah I think that's true um, so Camp Golf is now kind of a bit of in a bit of a strange position there's some fun stuff here there's some really good looting to be done here and I think we can do the uh, the quest uh, very easily here in fact there's actually a really easy way to complete the quest here just for some free easy experience points so we will uh, we'll do that uh, yes that's good. So uh, we could obviously just go and request the reinforcements, and I'm pretty sure we get them straight away on account of the fact that we are so well liked, but we don't need to do that. We can find Mags. Where is Mags? I think she's in here. Yeah, Misfits tent. Lovely. Now, these guys are the Misfits, and they suck as soldiers. But there are like four different ways, one for each of the members of the Misfits, for how to get them to be better soldiers. And we want to go with Ohanrahans. Can I just start this quest just by speaking to him? Yeah, sure. No, I think I need to speak to the guy to start this off first. Fine. Uh, okay, so I just need to go and have a chat with this chap here. I think he's about to walk in this door. Yep, there he is. So I just need to go and have a chat with him. Is he McCready? Am I remembering this correctly? Yes, McCready. Excellent. Oh, hell. So uh, I just want to basically start off the uh, Flags of Our Foul Ups quest. I may as well do that while I'm here because it's really easy to complete. Yep, there we are. That's that sorted. Back to the tent. So the ways of completing this are Mags' root, actually do proper training to learn how to use weapons efficiently. Poindexter's root, cheat. Raz's root, use drugs until vicious psychopaths. Or Ohanrahan's root, all be nicer to each other. Now, if you use either Poindexter's or Raz's root, then the game basically in the little kind of post credit sequence says, this was a bad idea, they all died in battle or something. Whereas if you use Mags or Ohanrahan's, it says they did really well. So apparently... Being just kind of pleasant to each other is as good for, you know, uh, army morale and effectiveness as actually training. So uh, that's good to know, isn't it? Anyway, we're going for a Hanrahan because it's so easy to do, it's just speech checks. So, how do I get the squad into shape? Me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. Human niceness, brilliant. So now I just speak to all the others and pass a speech check. I think the speech check's the same for all of them. Hello, oh, Raz. Yeah, so, speech of 40, we'll talk him into uh, being nicer. Okay, and point dexed up. And speech of 40, he'll come round. And mags too. And speech of 40, she comes round too. And then back to Hanrahan. Y'all sure are big old hero. And human niceness. The squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. So there we are. The human niceness principle worked just fine. And yeah, there's there's no sting in the tail at the end of the game where it says like, uh, the, the misfits thought that being nice to each other was good enough, but when they were actually in a combat environment versus the Legion, it turned out to not be that useful at, after all. No, no, the the, uh, the post-credit sequence says that worked out fine for them. Well, their test scores are only marginally improved, but I'm hearing good things about the misfits' teamwork. There we go. So that's them sorted out. And now ask for reinforcements. After what you did getting my misfits whipped into shape? Yeah, I could spare a couple boys for Bitter Springs. I'll issue the dispatch orders. There we go. So that is all sorted out. So with that done, I would say we now pick up Boone. And we can take him with us to Bitter Springs. We can now do this quest. Hello, Boone. Is it time? Yes, it totally is. And then we can just fast travel back to Bitter Springs with Boom. This is the place. And here you can see some extra NCR troops already rolling up to Bitter Springs. The reason we did that bit of the quest was because I wanted the maximum possible number of NCR troops to be in and around the camp. Because what's basically going to happen is there is going to be a fight. The Legion are going to attack this camp and me and Boone are going to defend it. I'm not going to kind of deliberately put Boone out of the way or anything. I think kind of it, it's fair that Boone gets to be involved in this particular fight. So I will stay right at the back, obviously, and kind of be the, the last resort as far as I can. 
But uh, Boone is going to, yes, Boone will be back with me. But we're going to have plenty of NCR. We're going to have plenty of NCR support here. So that's the important thing. And they are, there's an element to which they are kind of being meat shields. They're going to be distractions and decoys. So uh, sorry, NCR troops, that that's uh, kind of what we're doing. But never mind. Anyway, now we head back to that ridge previously. Now, this is probably going to be one of the hardest fights I've done uh, so far. Because obviously this is... Uh, Yes, this is uh, unfortunately one of those uh, very nasty Legion fights. Legion are going to be sending very nasty troops at me. So I've got my anti-material rifle here. I'm going to... I'm going to put the normal ammo in it. There's no... Explosive is not necessary. In fact, I'd be worried about the splash damage hitting civilians. So I'm going to be a bit careful with that. And we just go up onto Koyota Tail Ridge. And Boone will want to have a slumber party. I'd like to stay here for the night. Think some things over. Yep, we can do that. All right. So just so you know, what happened was basically Boone was stationed here. I'm told to shoot on sight, but lots of women and children came out, so he shot on sight. Anyway, let's see what is going on now. Talk to Boone. Got a group coming our way. Looks like a Legion raiding party. It's big. Okay, so this starts off. Now let's get back into town as quickly as possible, because I want to be drawn up in cover by the fences, right by everyone. The nice thing about this particular quest is you can see exactly where the enemy are. So you'll be seeing that uh, these are the enemy forces. I'm assuming what those are, are those gonna be the dogs and they're coming in the main way while we're coming in via the side canyon and the main salt force of soldiers is behind. So as a result of that, I'm gonna switch up my weapon slightly. Yeah, sniper rifle will do me for now. I will go to hollow, I think I will go to hollow point just in case. Because I'm only going to need hollow point for dogs. That's fine. And then we just need to keep an eye out for the Legion. Refugees run out this way. Legion are already in the camp. Got to be careful here. My priority is just to get to the back without being hit. The NCR will wake up and join in. But it's going to take them a minute or two to get up and about. Okay, no shooting at me yet. I think Boone's firing. NCR are not involved. Oh. Yeah, we got legionaries. Okay. Anti-material rifle. Boone spotter perk. There we go. Number one dead. And the legion is starting to come to a negative opinion of me, would you believe? Oh, I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at. Guys. Guys. There's a lot of legion hit. God, yeah, the, 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 this quest is a little bit weird because no matter how many legion you've got around, they don't seem to, they really don't seem to like being uh, here. Right, um, we need to take some pot shots at the legion. We just need to wait till morning, really. Oh, boom, this is all yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just got one of them at least. And oh, the, the NCR, decided, they've decided they want to get involved at this point. A little bit at least. Where are the rest of them? Boone's spotter perk makes this a lot more simple than it would be otherwise. I am hated by the Legion. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm guessing they wouldn't come to a positive opinion on me from all this. There should be one more at the back. Uh, aha! Okay, I see him. I see him. I see. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. There he is, dead. Yeah, this is why I got the anti-material rifle and the armor-piercing rounds. One shot, one shot can kill these guys. Right, let's see what's going on next. Okay, whole bunch of them. Currently, a fair way to the south. Now, if I remember this mission correctly, those guys do not start moving until you actually move to engage them. Which causes me a bit of a problem. But it's not too much of a problem, because what I would therefore want to do is... I'm going to wait for dawn before I do anything. Because right now, there's NCR troops who are sleeping. Which is, you know, camps under flipping attack, but uh, that is happening. So I'm going to wait for dawn. They'll all get up, and it'll all be fine. In fact, am I allowed to actually wait now there's no enemies nearby? Yes, yes I can. Guys, it's, it's nine, quarter past nine in the morning. This is probably a good time for you to be, you know, getting up. Get, guys, get the hell up. The hell up. This is the worst army. There you go. You're getting up now, are you? Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a flipping 
late night. Yeah, I, I hate the fact that in this quest, the NCR seem to be... We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. That's good. You better not be about to go back to bed. You flipping better not be about to go back to bed. At flipping... She is, isn't she? Yep, beautiful. Just wonderful. So now it's the morning and I need to go and trigger those guys. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go trigger those guys down at the bottom. They are going to uh, run in at the same time a second party is going to run in the sideway. So my solution to that problem is I'm going to go and trigger the guys at the front and deal with them because that tends to be a little bit easier. Meanwhile, all of the guys who are down this side route are going to funnel in through here. And that obviously works very much to my advantage, quite frankly. And I'm sure you can kind of uh, figure out roughly where I'm going with this. Which is, brilliantly, I'm going to mine the hell out of this area. And it's all going to work beautifully fine. Yes, okay, good. Mines. Yep. We're just going to let them wander into all these mines. And it's going to be great. So there's going to be layers of mines going on back here. Boom, back away from the mines. Kind of hoping, obviously, I don't accidentally, uh, refugees don't run into these mines. Really hoping that doesn't happen. But there will be multiple layers of mines here. Now that should be a very nice little defensive position. Here's some legion, by the way. See if any of them got uh, throwing things on them. No, they don't. These ones are quite high level, so I think they're all going to have... Uh... Yeah, I mean, we'll get 308 ammo off them, which is quite nice. But unfortunately, some of them are going to not have uh, much better than that. So what we're going to do is we are going to run down here, trigger the guys. We'll take out the guys that come to the front, which is primarily led by dogs. And the NCR will be able to take out the dogs by themselves. And then we will just help them take out the rest of the force while the side force runs straight into those mines. Okay, anti-material rifle ready to go. We'll know when it happens. You'll see them start to move on the map pretty much. We'll see it as soon as it happens. It's somewhere about here. Yep, it's already happening. Yep, all right. Back, 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 back. We don't want to be involved in this any more than we have to be. I'd rather fall back and let the NCR take out the dogs, and then I can focus on the humans. So where are the NCR who are going to be helping me out here? Hopefully they will be showing up in a second. The spotter perk should help out. Dead dog one. Dead dog two. Boone, you got this. Yep, Boone's got this. Lovely. And now with that dead, we can switch over to armor-piercing rounds. And hit the end. These guys. Dead. 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 All dead. Okay, now. Good, good, good. That is a very, very good result. This is why I got this. Exactly why I got the anti-material rifle. It's exactly why I got it. It was so I could do this. But now, the side party are going to come in. And, oh, I think that's explosions going on in the background there. That's good news, isn't it? I think they're all exploding. Yep, I think all the dogs exploded. And we're in a state of caution. And the, the dogs that survived the mines are now exploding. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm just going to back up up here and let the final few come through. Because the humans are triggering the mines. Prime legionary. There's definitely something over there. Hello. Yep. Okay, here we go. Back off. Let the NCR draw the fire. I will support. I will support as best I can. Oop. There's definitely one. I definitely killed one there. Oh, oh, okay. Go, I got shot. Someone shot me. That's fine. I will make a note of that. I'm not going to count that now. I will figure out how much damage I've taken later. But I have been shot. Okay. Definitely. Uh, where are the... Oh, where are they? There's definitely one guy there. These guys are... The NCR are... Yeah, the NCR are meat shielding for me quite nicely at the moment. We're already down to not very much at all. I think we're clear. Ooh. Wow, nice and easy. Those mines really damn paid off, I think. Good. All right. Now, as for Boone, 
You can tell him to either let his regrets put him on a better path or just to get the hell over it. It's war, people die, something, something. So obviously we'll put him on a better path and he will put on his survival armor as a consequence. I'll get experience for completing the quest and everyone is happy. Good, good, good. And that's Boone pretty much done, in fact. Now, just quickly, how much damage did I just take? Okay, that was only five hit points taken. It must have been one of the weaker ones. I took five hit points damage from that shot, putting me back to 300 out of a maximum of 390. Good, good, good. Now, with that done, obviously, Boone, we can uh, tell to wander on his merry way. Boone, we should part ways. We are done. Yes. And his quest is now complete. And I will just quickly loot the bodies. So I've just quickly gone and grabbed all the stuff I wanted off any of the corpses. Not many NCR dead, actually. I think the, the Legion dead massively outnumber the NCR dead. So uh, good to know that we made quite a positive difference there at a very little personal cost. So magnificent news. But obviously we have one small problem as a result of that. Which is we are now vilified by Caesar's Legion. Which is a problem because that means hit squads, I believe, are coming for me right now. So that means it's time to do something I've been putting off for a little while. It is finally time to settle up with Benny. Next time on Fallen New Vegas, you only live once. We are heading into the tops and we are sorting that out once and for all because we definitely do not need the Legion on our backs. Those Legion raiding parties are pretty damn nasty. I do not want assassins after me. And more importantly, we're getting to the stage now where I'm actually taking hits. I've taken hits two parts in a row now. In fact, I'm struggling to keep above 300 hit points. So... It is time for us to head in and make sure the Legion do not send a hit squad after me. So, time to go in there, deal with Benny, and get the reputation reset that comes with that. And then, then after that, we shall see. We'll probably do a little bit more of the strip next week as well. So, there we are. We are on a respectable, but certainly much lower than we were a few weeks ago. 300 out of a possible 390. And for the plus side, we have now completed the companion quest of two companions. We've finished off Veronica and we've finished off Boone in their entirety, which is great stuff, I reckon. So all of that is magnificent news, obviously. And next time, next time, it's time to settle up with Benny and get the Legion off our backs for the moment. And in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Fallen New Vegas. You only live once. Thank you very much and goodbye. Good dodge. Good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser. <laughs>